Okay, in this video we'll talk about graphing a complex number and finding its absolute value, which is also called the modulus. Um, for a complex number a plus bi equals z, uh, the modulus, again, we write that as the absolute value of z. We just take the, the real part a and square it, the real part b and square it, add them together and square root them. So, we have a few different examples here. I think we can do a and b here. So. We're going to graph each of these and also find the modulus. So, graphing uh, graphing is pretty easy. Um, we kind of think about the x-axis as sort of being the real part, um, and the the y-axis as being the imaginary part. So, uh, at two, uh, that's our real part. The imaginary part is up here at 3, so sorry not to scale here, squeeze it in here. Um, so if we're at the basically the coordinate 2, comma 3, we'll make a little vector going from the origin to that point, and we would say that's, uh, that's now um, the graph of that complex number. It kind of tells you, uh, again, the length, which is going to be important, and also where it's pointing at. So, Again, to find the modulus, if we call this uh, this complex number z, well, the modulus, all we have to do is just take each component and square it, add them together, and square root it. So this will be 2 plus 9, or excuse me, 4. Uh, 2 squared is 4 plus 9. 4 plus 9 will give us the square root of 13, and that would be our modulus in this case. Let's do our other example here as well. Uh, let's do 1 plus 2i quantity squared. The first thing we're going to have to do for this is we're going to have to rewrite it um, as a plus bi. So the first thing I'm going to do is just multiply this stuff out. Recall for complex numbers that i squared equals negative 1. But I'm just going to distribute. So we'll get 1 times 1, which is 1. We'll get 1 plus 2i, which will be 2i. We'll get a 2i uh, times 1, which will just be 2i. Then we'll get 2 times 2, which is 4. We'll get i times i, which is i squared. Well, we've got 1 plus, so 2i and 2i will be 4i. i squared, though, that's going to be negative 1. So really, we have 1 minus 4, which is going to be negative 3 plus 4i. This will be the complex number that I'm going to graph. Okay, so the same thing. Uh, maybe we can make it a little more to scale. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I've basically just gone 3 units to the left, 4 units up. That's where I'm going to put my dot. We'll make a vector from the origin out to that dot. So we've now graphed our complex number, negative 3 plus 4i. Again, to find the modulus, again, I think we called all this one z. Uh, to find the modulus, we'll just take negative 3 squared and add to that 4 squared. But that's going to be 9 plus 16, which gives us 25. And the square root of 25 is just going to be 5. 